Are we playing God with the extinction? Did we play God when we drove most of these species to extinction? Why should we bring new species back? It varies with the species. You know, it was entirely human efforts that, that made it extinct. Extinct species and endangered species are part of one continuum. One of the important questions, of course, if you do contemplate in a project like this, a de-extinction project, of bringing an animal like that back, what are you going to do with it? That's actually one of the more difficult questions because, um, you know, why do we want to clone the mammoth? And can you clone it? Because as we say, cloning one animal or bringing back one extinct animal, that's interesting, but that's not a population. How do we introduce genetic variation? If we could get this animal back, the throne for that king of beasts is still warm. I don't think we'll bring it back to life. Maybe that will happen one day in the future. But what we can do is learn a lot more about it by studying its genetic makeup. If it looks like a passenger pigeon, is it a passenger pigeon? If it behaves like one, is it a passenger pigeon? Or does it have to be an exact duplicate of the genome? And the first goal we would have is say, well, let's get it back into its natural environment. Let it restore the balance in that ecosystem. When a creature goes from rare to common, and you watch that happen, you get engaged with its sort of fight to survive. And when you see a creature go from extinct to rare to common, I think people are just going to be cheering it on the whole way.